he came through i or he like came beneath me he had american passport and um he had his brother with him had american passport i guess they had they had he had been an interpreter with with group or something for for quite a while so he was he was legit pulled him out just haste, did a search on him search on his brother i'm like all right hey i'm gonna take you guys over to the main search area which is right at the base of the tower almost you know, we can get you guys processed through to the state department this this dude he, he spoke pretty decent english and he was like like wait wait he's like my family my family and i was like yeah like what's up man your your brother's right here he's like you got your family and he's like no 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 my, my wife and four kids he's like there's seven of us and i was like what and hoover's standing next to me he's like what the fuck he's like no there's two of you he's like no my wife and four kids they're still back in the canal they're still back in the crowd I was like, dude, I was like, you were given very specific instructions, like come with your whole family at one time, because in our eyes, like we know the gate's already supposed to be shut at this point. It was supposed to be shut that that morning or something, and it's still open. We're still processing people. We were told that it was going to be shut by the 26th or like the morning of the 26th, and it still hadn't been. And now it's almost, it's like 5.30 p.m. or almost 5.30 p.m., and I pull... You know, I, I'm like, all right, well, do you have fucking paperwork for them? And he fucking has paperwork for all of them. They're good. And I'm like, fuck, I'm like, okay. I was like, listen, man, you know, do you have a phone? Like, can you call your wife? Does she have a phone? He's like, yes, yes. Like, I can get a hold of her. Like, okay, like, call her and see where she's at. And so he calls her and he's like saying she's at like the bend in the canal or the corner, which is like where he was describing her at was like 6,000 people away, like so far away. I'm like, fuck. So, all right, dude, tell her she needs to get her and the kids and get into the sewage water and start working their way up because if not there's not a great chance of you guys fucking getting through together and so he relays that to her and he's just like thank you thank you and i sit them down on the on the chain link fence i'm like listen i'll stay down here for like 20 or 30 minutes and help you guys out and wait to see if your family can make it up here if not i'll make sure another marine helps you guys out and knows your situation and he's just like thank you thank you so much and so i'm like waiting on the side of the canal uh wall like standing against it, facing across the canal. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what these people look like. Like they look, to me, they look like everyone else out there. And so I'm like, hey man, like come here. And I don't remember if it was him or his brother. And I'm like, hey, come here and help me spot them. If you see them, like we, we can pick them, we, you can help me pick them out easier. And he's like, yeah, of course. And I like stand him up on the canal wall. 10 minutes goes by and just flash and just get hit with this massive wave of pressure, just like sh straight on. And then I'm like, my eyes, are, my eyes are closed, my vision's black, and I'm like slowly coming to. My right ear is just like super high pitched ringing. My left ear is muffled, and I can just hear people screaming in the distance. And I, I just, I knew right away as soon as I like was coming to, I was like, holy fuck! Like, I just got fucking blown up, and I just, my brain knew instantly, and I, I, my immediate thought was just like disbelief. I was like. There's no fucking way this just happened. And I can't see yet. And I'm just like struggling to open my eyes. And I later to come to find out, I mean, on top of a fucking, you know, 20, 30 pound bomb detonating like five meters away from me, someone's CS gas canisters had exploded on all of us. And so on top of the bomb, there's all the CS gas cloud that we're engulfed in. And so none of us can fucking see and are struggling to see. And so I was just like, holy fuck, like I actually just got blown up. And I can't, finally can open my eyes and I'm just like laying on the ground in the dirt, looking to my left and like really close to the fence. Like I, almost, I had almost gotten thrown to like to the fence and uh, I'm like looking to my left. And I mean, there's just where this crowd of hundreds of people was, is just flattened, like nothing at all. And I could still hear people just fucking screaming in the distance and yelling. And I look to my left and I mean, one of the first things I see is just fucking Marines laid out, just fucking Desert Marpat fucking next to me. I was just like, oh fuck. Like this really just fucking happened. Before I fully like, my brain fully registered everything when I woke up in the hospital. Like my mom said I talked for like nine hours straight, but I, I thought uh, um, I was crawling away from my leg and it was someone else's fucking body part just like laying in front of me. Jesus I mean, there was fucking Christ. body parts and dead bodies everywhere. And the people on the other side of the canal were just immediately in front of me just got fucking evaporated. Just, or eviscerated, just gone. Just in an instant, gone. And then outside of, outside of that, just bodies, body parts, fucking guts and pieces of people and human beings. I was laying on the ground 
And I mean, I felt like I was on the ground for like a fucking hour. I felt like forever. <clears throat> Almost immediately after the bomb, uh, like I was, I was trying to stand up. And I couldn't stand up. I could like move my head forward and like move my arm a little bit. And I kept trying to stand up. I'm like fuck, like why can't I stand up? I was like, I'm gonna fucking hurt. And then it just like crack, 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 fucking right across from us. Tower's kind of to the left. The canal's like right here, and then the neighborhood's right here. And we start taking fucking shots from the neighborhood. And, and like almost immediately after the blast, I, my first thought, I mean, I always say like, <clears throat> we all want to be the hero in our own story, but my first thought in my brain was like, fuck, I'm hurt. And I look down and I'm hear, hearing us getting shot at and hearing fucking cracks and impacts behind us and over us. And I'm like, fuck, I can't fire my weapon. I'm fucked up. Like my, my I mean, I had come, come to find out I had gotten hit with 100 to 150 ball bearings. Um, 150 ball bearings. Yeah, and and I mean, I took them everywhere but my neck and my head and my knees down because of that that wall. I was like, well, fuck, I don't want to get shot. I can't fire back. And I just knew the hole in the fence was behind me. And I tried. I tried my fucking hardest to crawl backwards towards that hole in the fence. And I kept trying to get up. Couldn't get up. Um, I don't know how fucking far I got. Maybe a couple feet. I was moving backwards and all I could do was like put my left arm on the ground and I kept trying to lean over onto my right and I'm just like, fuck, like, why is my right arm not working? And I remember lifting it up, I just seen it, it's there, but it's just like fucking shredded up at the elbow and bloody and I'm, I'm just fucking red everywhere. And I was just, all that, my thought in my brain, I was like, my arm's fucked up. I was like, okay, that's why it doesn't work. And like just kept fucking going. I wasn't fully processing like, hey, let me fucking put a tourniquet on my arm. I was just like, fuck, I'm... I'm fucked up and uh, I need to get to the hole in the fence because that's where my friends are. Finally, I just, I couldn't move anymore and I, all I could do is kind of lift my head up and I mean, I took ball bearings into my fucking chest and it, like right around the cut of my plate carrier um, into my shoulder, all over my fucking arm, obviously. A ton into my abdomen, all over my stomach. I mean, I had, I mean, they were practically from what I've been told, just fucking dumping ball bearings out of my intestines. All down through, shot out throughout my leg, caught shrapnel into my hand, ball bearings. I mean, they were burning so fast that ball bearings just like burned through my radius, like perfect hole through my radius, didn't even break it. That's how fast they were going. And from the force of the blast, burned through my radius, all into my arm and shoulder. Unfortunately, the army fucking burned my kit. I didn't get to keep my kit, but uh, I took three ball bearings in my, in the lip of my Kevlar, like right above the lip of my Kevlar, right into my forehead. If that's not a fucking reason to wear your fucking gear, then I don't know what is. Yeah. But, I mean, that would've fucking killed me. Like, for sure would've fucking killed me. I gotta um, be honest, man, I can't believe we're sitting here right now. I, I can't believe it either, honestly. <clears throat> Some incredible individuals in my line of care. It's been a fucking journey, but uh, thankful to be here. And you know, I'm, <clears throat> I'm on the ground. And I can't, I can't move. And I mean, all of this is happening. It's like three minutes, but to me, it feels like fucking forever. And I'm on the ground and I, I'm just like, wow, I can't move. I can't even really yell. I'm like, man, I'm dead. I was like, that's it. I could feel myself starting to fade, starting to pass out. And I was just like, I knew I was fucking bad. I could see myself covered in blood. And I, the pain hit me probably like a minute or two afterwards. I couldn't feel it for a while and it finally hit me. I was like, I was in so much pain. I just wanted to fucking die. Like, I remember laying there on the ground and I was just like, please fucking kill me. Like, I'm in so much pain. Just please fucking put me out of my misery. That's like all I was thinking about. And then I, I just kept trying to move and I couldn't. And as I'm fading, I'm like, man, yep. I was like, well, that's how it goes. And that's like all I really thought. I was just like, well, I'm fucking, I'm dead, but uh, I'm proud of what I've done and who I am. And I remember thinking that on the ground and I was like, this is how it is. And, and I was I was, I was, was in disbelief, but I wasn't scared. I just was like, wow. I was like, well, this is how it fucking is. Like, I'm, I'm gonna die here on the dirt in Afghanistan. I just hear, Tyler, 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 coming, buddy. And I like, like come to again. And I'm like, oh fuck, it's Chaz. Like, he's gonna fucking get to me. I'm not gonna die. 